So we've got something a bit different in today. Uh, we've got a Bug Eye Subaru STI. Um, got the usual engine problems, uh, bottom ends rattling. So I've started stripping it down already, you can see. And uh, I'm gonna let you know what we find. Uh, I suspect it's gonna be a big end bearing, but uh, I'm gonna show you the process of uh, stripping it down. I thought it'd be something different to show you. So enjoy the video. So stripping down of the car didn't go too bad. Uh, nearly got it all stripped down there. Just got to remove this top dog bone man. I've just jacked the car up and then I've put a lump of wood underneath between the bell housing and the uh, gearbox man. But um, one thing I like about these Subarus is you never really strip a nut. Um, the exhaust manifold nuts are all stainless and they use proper zinc coated bolts for the uh, rest of them so you don't really uh, snap or strip anything. So one thing that you always must remember and uh, if you've worked on a Subaru you'll know this, there's a pin that goes through here that pivots the clutch. So there's one thing you'll know if you uh, worked on Subaru before there's a big pin that goes through here that pivots the clutch release bearing uh, onto the slave cylinder, which is there. And if you don't remove that, you will never get the gearbox apart. So this is what it looks like. Um, so you just thread a 10 mil. So you just thread an M6 bolt into it. You can slot it straight out. And when you go back in, you grease them up. And this is what the cap looks like. It's a 10 hex. And it would go in there like that. So if you don't remove that, you're never gonna get this apart. Uh, a lot of people have put up on forums and that they, they, they can't get their bell housing from the engine apart and that's why. So just pulled the engine out of it. Didn't wanna show you that, a bit boring. But uh, stuck it on the engine stand. Uh, we're going to get a batch strip in it now. See, it's never been apart. I found loads of bolts and all sorts of things on the top of the engine. And uh, I've got the flywheel and the clutch off to allow me to get the stand on. So let's get stripping it down. So we've got a brand new nitride crank. Uh, manly rods that uh, I've had all weighed out properly. You can see, lovely brand new rods. Um, matching them up, CP pistons. Can't beat CP pistons, probably the best on the market. Um, so we've got a brand new oil cooler. We're using King Racing bearings on the, the mains. So I'm just specking them up now. I've just uh, gapped all the rings. So we've got all the block all built up. Uh, we've got CP pistons in there, manly rods, nitrided crank, uh, king racing bearings. Uh, got a brand new oil pump on there, uh, modified by Graham Good Racing. Um, everything's made in Japan. Brand new water pump, thermostat, brand new oil cooler, and obviously oil filter, uh, because once the uh, engines uh, have uh, rattled the big end bearing and all the swarf, goes throughout these oil cooling and it blocks these up and as soon as you pop the second hand ones back on the new engine it just fills the engine up with swarf again so now we're just about to get the head gasket on and uh, stick the heads on so I'm just finishing up putting the uh, stem seals in on the last head the other heads all built up I've done the uh, three of the inlet side already 
and uh, get this head bolted on, start putting the engine back together. I haven't been able to get many videos of building the engine itself because I've uh, it's been really intense and trying to get it all done in time. But um, basically, we have a uh, Subaru STI 2002 version 7, uh, semi closed deck block, CP Carrillo pistons, manly sports rods, H beam steel, got ARP bolts everywhere, uh, case bolts, head bolts, um, stock STI gaskets. Uh, every single gasket and o-ring's been replaced. Uh, Exedi racing clutch. Got a paddle clutch in there. So we've got a VF35 turbo in there, uh, brand new. And uh, to go with the engine while it's running it in. And then we're gonna go a bigger turbo, get a bit of power out of it. It's uh, got the six speed box in it, gearbox in it with um, no DCCD in this one. So on the heads, it's got a version 7 spec c uh, heads and cams so the bigger ports uh, the lifters are solid um, we've uprated the valve springs uh, done a full overhaul on the head skimmed uh, valves have been cut in uh, replaced uh, with brand new sti valves uh, all the buckets have been shimmed to spec as the exhaust side was at our brembos with the sti wheels Our Brembo's on the back as well, and this is a UK model, so um, you won't find these in the US. So type UK. So it's all system, full three-inch Blitz Nurse spec, and it sounds lovely. Uh, typical Subaru noise, uneven exhaust manifold. Typical Subaru blue with the gold wheels. 